they're out for a sunrise. Great big ball of fire. Let's hope the fishing's on fire, eh? Morning guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just out of Walcott, we're having a few hours. It's actually quite windy actually, a lot windier than I thought it was going to be. It's supposed to be a light to moderate in the morning, but I'll show you around. I haven't even fully set up yet. I've set up one rod, two up, one down, and six ounce lead. Just giving it a quick cast about, see what the state of the tide's like. There's the most pull, which way it's going, but there's a fair few waves on it, it looks bassy. I'll just put every hook with uh, backward and squid to start with. But as I said, I just want to see what the state of the tide is doing, how strong it is. The tide's still flooding. It's 10 to 5, and um, we're bang on high tide. We're bang on a high tide. It's high tide at 10 to 5 this morning, so. But it's strangely, it's supposed to be the tide is going right to left for whatever reason. have to reposition the rod rest down this way a bit and up tide it. I'll quickly show you around. Yeah, it's going to give it sort of 10 minutes here, figure out exactly what's going on with the tide. And it's still coming over this high bank in here and it's going to sort of like flood behind the channel here, but I can see, see what's going on. That's why I've got my wellies with me. But I've opted for mono today with the breeze and the waves. Quickly set up another rod. I'm gonna think I'm gonna, today I'm just gonna go with two up, one down. I've got three rods with me. If I need to set another one up at low tide and put a big bait out. But when I say a big bait, I've been watching a few videos of that. And I think the baits I'm doing on a big bait are too big if that makes sense. I want to just make it sort of like three inches, three to four inches, no bigger than that. Because a lot of the smooth rounds of doggies are coming out of sort of like that size. in and see if there's much weed. Yeah, I looked at the scene and thought, ah, it's definitely more no job today. I'm going to go to my right and position my rod pod down to the left. Just re all my reels, nice and flush. I've just bought uh, another one of these Shakespeare Salt Surf 7000s just for the spools mainly. So I've got a 60 pound ASIO shock leader. Now a 20 pound Shakespeare Salt mono. Pound big body, 25 pound snoots. That's the Flora Max. Two size one must have bike lids on the top two above. Size 1 on the bottom.
Okay, I put my microphone on. I hope you can hear me a lot better. I've set the other rod up. I've gone for a one up and one down clip down rig. I've got maiden voyage today. Shakespeare Salt XT, uh, no, Surf 7000. There's only one little downside with these reels I found. Is that, unlike the uh, Shakespeare Salt XT, when the reel spool is fully in the up position, there's no gap between the spool and the reel, if that makes sense, I'll show you. But this one, there's quite a bit of a gap. And if you, you can get your finger in here, quite easy. And I've had a couple of frap ups and I've only sort of worked it out the other day. So when you, uh, let's see it's going to get my leader not to the back. It's a case of winding on your leader. And then what I do is keep the clutch really loose and just keep winding until the spool and it's its fully down position. So there's no chance now the line getting behind the spool. Then you can tighten your spool up, tighten your clutch up and you'll wait. This one, again, six ounce gripper. Same rig body, same snoods. I've gone for two salted lug and squid. Just lashed on with a bit of bait elastic and a big bit of mackerel and squid on the top one. And I get this cast out. <clears throat> it's half past five. I just brought this left rod in because it's a strange one today. It's wind against tide, it's flooding, but the wind's sort of quite stiff in the, in the waves. You have to let cast it to the left, otherwise it's bouncing to the right, but it's a bit of an odd one today. But I brought this in because I've got a couple of knocks. Nice, decent little whiting. Nicely hooked. We're off the mark. We're back on a roll. Hi guys, half five. I've had one cast to see what state the tide's doing. I just brought it in, a couple of little knocks. I've gone for mono today because it's quite windy, it's wind against tide. There's a bit of a swell on. So the first white in of the day. So we'll get this little chappy back. Yes, please. Right, onwards and upwards. We haven't blanked, we've been in for about 10 minutes. Fish already. Okay, it's a bit quiet at the minute, so I'm having to play around. It's got an old the Nafe surf cast um, 14 foot beach caster but it's a telescopic one so I don't like casting that too far off the beach because um, of the eyes and I've got a bite on this one sorry so I put the big bait on there I've just clipped off I've got a five ounce lead and a one up one down clip down rig with uh, two salted log worms and squid to get this cast out to the left and I've got a big bite on this right hand one so I'm gonna fat a bot I'll wind this one in first hang on
I hate this microphone wire. It's a pain in the butt. Don't think there's anything on. Very difficult to see any bikes today for being strong wind against tide. It's put a fair bow in the line, but that's why I chose uh, mono today, not braid. I've got braid on that one just because it's about 15 yards out. There's very little weed. The only weed there is is a little weed bed out there which I'm trying to cast just short of. Nope, nothing. Okay guys, 12 o'clock, I packed up. The uh, weed is getting horrendous on the ebb and all the way down to low tide. Um, yeah, it was getting frustrating. I let my frustration get the better of me. Uh, getting stripped by crabs. Um, it's a strong wind against tide. Um, all day long I had to upcast, up tide it to my left. Um, but with the northerly wind coming down as well, putting a belly in the line and a bow in the line. And that much floating weed, I couldn't be in for more than two minutes before the weed built up on your line. And then after about five minutes, your line was just hanging on the beach. And... Uh, yeah, I even I, I switched rigs. I ended up going down to just a, uh, a one-up rig in the end to try and sort of... Because the way the seabed was turning over and turning over, <clears throat> any bait I had on the bottom was just getting tangled around the lead. doesn't matter how long or short the snood was, putting a boom on or whatever. It was just the seabed was churning over. There's that much of that dry, sandy, sort of like candy weed. Um, just all around the lead, all around the hooks. Um, so it was just really frustrating. Um, had a few good bites, but I just couldn't see them. Um, I even in the end, I was just putting two salted lug on the top snood with a little bit of squid and binding it on. Um, but the way the waves were rolling and the sea swell with wind against tide, you just couldn't see anything. Um, I had to play around quickly. I stopped for 20 minutes to get my head back together, scratching what to do. Um, as I say, it was just absolutely a washing line full of weed uh, on all rods. And I, I brought them all in, sat down, had a coffee, break for 20 minutes, and I decided on the one up rig. But yeah, it was just pointless in the end. Even all the way down to low tide and the start of the ebb. It was just the same, it was just that, that, that weed was relentless today. Um, so I thought, well, I'll we'll pack up early, we'll get back, dust myself down, and we'll go again tomorrow. Somewhere different. <laughs> and uh, I'll have a look at the wind, and I think it's supposed to be a lighter wind today, but that was like a moderate to strong wind. And uh, it was really kicking up. But, uh, yeah, we'll go again tomorrow. That's all you can do. That's beach fishing. So short and sweet one, this one, this week. Well, I might have two together. So I might just put the other one tomorrow on the end of, on the end of this one. So I'll see you again in a bit. Cheerio. Set myself the big rig up, ready to go. Got six ounce lead on the bottom. One of the bait release systems, just put your hook in there, that releases. Got a big pulley bead there, which I've uh, a rig clip, it's a 220 pound rig clip. I just open the eye up, put it through the swivel, crush that back down, so that hangs there. And basically that just pulls up and down. It's only a short pulley, I've done it about no more than three feet. A 40 pound ASIO hook length. 3020 Mustad Viking hook. That's bound on, whole bit of squid, stuffed with prawns and worm. 
and a little bit of a squid head and I've got them nice and proud. So I'll hook on like that. We're ready to go.